Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing, and today on this Texas All Water Fishing, we're going to be doing an unboxing video. Now, I had a company reach out to me, and they primarily sell their stuff on Amazon, but they reached out to me to see if I was interested in some waders. And the last year, um, my waders never stopped leaking. I tried several methods, several different ways to make them stop, and, and they didn't stop. So, this year, you know what? I'm in the market for a new pair of waders. And surprisingly, I had a, co a company reach out to me and ask me if I was interested in testing some of their waders out, if I would do, uh, you know, have them incorporate them in a video. And I said, yeah, right now it's kind of warm right now. And they, they, they sell neoprene waders with the boot. So that's a plus. But they, they do sell some neoprenes with the boot, although I've never owned a pair of neoprenes with the boot before. But uh, I said, yeah, I'll, I'll test them out. I'll do an unboxing video, and then later on when the water gets, the air gets a little cooler, and, uh, you know, we get closer to flounder season, I'll record a, uh, you know, I'll fish with them. I'll fish with them and test them out. So today's just in the unboxing portion of that video. But uh, don't forget, we do have a Patreon page where I give fishing in inputs, uh, fishing reports, insights. I mean, I think this week I've probably done, like, maybe four or five fish reports just because the surface looks so clean out there so if you want to become a patreon today and help further support the channel there's a link in the description section and there's links for this um for this product that i'm unboxing today and other kind of links and some other promo codes if you are interested in the description section of the video check that out and don't forget this is a great opportunity while we are pausing for the cause that if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet click subscribe i don't know why People come back. I have returning viewers that come back each and every video, but they don't subscribe. So um, not sure why someone wouldn't sub to a video or to a channel that they, they often frequent and visit. But I do. I have a very high number of viewers that don't subscribe. So if, you, if that's you, then help me out. Hit subscribe. It helps out the channel tremendously. Like and comment and sharing also help, uh, helps the channel out tremendously as well, as well as this video. So, all right, so we got that out of the way. So, like I said, company hit me up. They sell primarily on Amazon. So, I know a lot of times we don't like to give companies that we don't know or email address or mailing address or credit card information and all that. So, if you are a Amazon shopper like me, I frequently buy all the time on Amazon, then that should rest assured that, that it is safe to buy from them, uh, Amazon. So, or in case you're, you know, you're a person that, a serial returner, you buy something, you return it, you buy something, you return it, um, Amazon's always great with their return policy. All right, the name of the company is Dry Code, Ugh. and here's the box that they send me, the, uh, a pair of waders. Um, I'm very excited. I haven't opened it up, haven't looked at it, haven't tried them on, I haven't done anything with them. I just got the box, and it's been sitting in my garage for a couple days. So, going to open it up here on my lap, so bear with me in case the box falls and whatnot. But here, it is. here they are, the nice big package, nicely done. Oh, look, there, got some, there we go, golly. Maybe I should have done this outside of studio, maybe outdoors, but yeah, we're going we're gonna to try to make it work. We're a little close quarters here. All right, so, the boots feel heavy. They, they... They feel heavy, and not that heavy is a bad thing because, you know, I'm going to use them primarily for flounder fishing, so I want something tough. I, uh, uh, fishing flounder, fishing around rocks, fishing around structure, you know, you don't want to stump your toe in and hurt yourself a, a lot, and you want something that's going to be durable and last. So having heavy boots is, is a good thing for me. Um, so the, the boots, I wouldn't say they feel like super heavy, but, but they do. They feel like they're, they're a good quality boot. Uh, nice track traction on them doesn't look like it's gonna slip and fall and looking at them right here where the this is always key so I, I haven't owned a pair of waders with boots in them but I do own hip waders and and I do buy hip waders a lot so when you have that transition tra transition from the boot to the waiter or even if a hip waiter or in this case neoprenes you want to look at that seal to make sure that it has a good seal and, and that they do it well, that they seal them well. And looking at these, uh, you have an overlap where the boot comes up past the, the neoprene waders right here. And you can, you can feel 
it feels like it's going to be it's going to have a, a real good seal now these are budget friendly these are we'll get on the pc here in a minute and i'll show you and read you all the specs but these are budget friendly what i'll consider budget friendly waders and looking at them they have a nice padding right here at your knees your knee area again you know wade fishing in the water fishing around structure tripping falling climbing in and out around the rocks for me when i am going after some of those some of those flounder uh during the fall and and into the winter season this has a nice big uh, a nice big secondary pad where even if you wear it out or, or you, you might maybe get on a sharp sharp rock or something it doesn't look like it's going to penetrate the actual waders and sprinkler leak where you have this nice extra cushion pad for your knees fully adjustable straps nice big buckle Look like it's going to be real easy to buckle on and off, and they look fully adjustable. And and here's another thing is is like where your where the shoulder is and your shoulder strap where it digs in. I mean, I I, I find this with dry bags when I'm weight fishing. Uh, if you don't have that cushion, a lot of times it's it's gonna it's gonna dig into you just a little bit around your neck area. But this doesn't look like looks like we have the strap that's coming up on the back of it it's nice and padded from the neoprene and it, this doesn't look or feel like it's real rough or it's going to dig into around your neck area but this doesn't look like it's going to be like so close in cut so more stay on your shoulder so that's not a that's not a problem either and we don't have any oh we do we do have an internal zipper bag, so that's that's very helpful with your cell phone or if you have some your car keys, something you don't want to get wet, maybe put it in another in an additional Ziploc baggie or like a cell phone case. Um, it does come with a cell phone case, but uh, it's always great to have that additional pocket on the inside. So even like myself, where I probably use this pocket for like terminal tackle, possibly fishing line, maybe even like a, an extra pack of gulp. But that's always a plus to have that internal bag on the inside so you can keep stuff that's away from away from the elements, away from whether you're getting rained or, or, or splashed, you to keep that dry. Do have a couple of areas right here on the front, if you can see this, where it looks like you can put your shells. So if you're, unlike me, I'm going to use these for fishing, but if you're going to, Use them for like duck hunting or, or, or waiting around and, and hunting or in the swampy area, marsh area. It looks like there's places on fronts where you can put some extra ammunition to easily to grab. And you also have a pocket up front. Nice big roomy pocket too. I mean, that's it's it's a pretty good size. It's about as wide as your chest. Uh, nice big insulated pocket with Velcro straps where you could put... Or like myself, that's probably where I'll put some gulp. I'll probably put some gulp and maybe some extra fishing line. And I always like to take like the little RX pill bottles with me with extra hooks and weights in them, split shots. So I'll probably put some of those in there as well. And on the side, I was wondering if it had pockets. On the sides right here in the front, it does have a place where you can put your hands to get your hands and keep your hands out of the element case they're cold or... or <laughs> You know what I, I do a lot if if I do have an area where I can put my hands I'll um it's kind of gross but after handling the fish and you know your hands are wet and cold I'll stick my hands in there and kind of wipe them off so that's <laughs> I probably use this this pocket not so much as just a place to, to warm my hands up but also to wipe them so it kind of you know then I'll come later and, and spray some stuff in there and clean them out whenever I get home but yeah that's kind of that's I use the the your pockets here on your waders i use them for um for a fish towel <laughs> but yeah so i haven't tried these on but they feel nice and thick i think it's four millimeter uh, neoprene so they're they're nice and thick um they i know they have several different they have several different i'm sorry i keep talking away from mike but they have several different uh styles of, of camouflage and we'll, we'll take a look here in the pc again and let's see what else is in here we have Oh, okay. Well, here's, I'm like, we have an additional strap. No, but here's the belt. So this belt is where you would wrap around yourself and then you can attach like your, your, um, 
any kind of float net you might have or a float ring for your fish or your stringer you, you would attach it to this and what else do we got in here oh okay cool i didn't i didn't realize that this came with it um but it has a hanger here's a couple little holes where you put your your boots through and here's a hook when you hang it you hang it to dry so that's included and like i said your cell phone waterproof cell phone case all right so let's jump on the pc real fast and let's take a look at dry code on amazon and that's 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 the guys that that sent me this dry code so we're going to take a look and here is their home page or their store storefront i guess you will call it they do offer they also sell rubber boots as well as waders but they shot me over these waders. So let's let's look at some of their waders that they do offer. Uh, I know there's several kind. Well, let's check out this advertiser. This guy looks like super cool with his ponytail and his sunglasses. He got some nice tattoo going. <laughs> but there you go. You can see this is their reed grass version. Got the belt around the waist. And this is a 600G um, belt. I mean, uh, boots. They got the hand warmer. Nice big pocket. Get it, answer cell phone, walk, splash through the water. All right, so they do have several different, or a couple different, um, waders, neoprene waders. They have a 600G boot, and then they also have, what I got, I got just uh, the standard uh, boot. I probably, maybe I should have went with the 600, but neoprene camo chest, they do have reed grass. They have several colors. I don't see what's too much of the difference is. All right, and I did. I went uh, a size up. I haven't tried them on yet, so I don't know if I if I went right by doing a size up. But I went with a size up just in case. Uh, I do need a double layer of my socks when it when it gets cold out there. Um, it comes with the phone case, and it comes with a a hanger to hang and dry your clothes or hang your hang your waders. Uh, Anti-slip soles. We sh we showed you that they have a perfect fit, size, performance, refuse no leak, and a comfortable lining on the inside. Uh, let's look at some more of the specs. Durable woven fabric, and it felt it felt really good. Yeah, soft, still stitch, and waterproof 4.0 millimeter uh, waterproof material. Double sealed around the boot, connecting the seams. Like I said earlier, that's kind of important. That's an important. That's a, where a lot of leak happens. Uh, reinforced knee pads also excellent and they do have the high quality straps and uh, yeah so you know there's a ch sizing chart here in case you need to you know measure yourself waist chest and whatever what have you but you know i i'm so far right out of the box you know right out of the box taking a look at them you know the proof is when you put them on and you get out there in the water uh, and you're gonna see that so stay tuned for when I do get out there and you know can't wait for the flounders to start running in and get out there and start and start wade fishing for them but right out of the box I'm pleased they're they're as advertised everything I saw on here backs it up once you you know once I had the product in my hand it, it matches and it, it looks great so check them out in the description section there's a link for their Amazon link and there's also a link I believe they send me a link for their their website so Maybe if you want to check out both, you want to see maybe price comparison, what have you. But you know, real easy to pick up on Amazon, and it looks like it looks like if you order them, if I ordered them today, they're in stock, and one day Amazon free return. So if I order them today, they'll be here tomorrow. So that's that's pretty great. You know, love Amazon, love love Amazon. So if you order them today, you you'll get them tomorrow. So or at least today, today, tomorrow. Um. So yeah, so check them out. You know, they like I said, they come with that. Um, they come with the phone case. They come with the thing to hang them. Come with their belt. They're great quality, great price, under hundred bucks. Can't go wrong under hundred bucks. So check them out. All right. So real quick, I did. I tried these on. I just put these on right now after we got done recording that video, and I don't even have a mic on right now. But hey, I did put these on, and I will say this: that the shoe. Size, I wear like a size nine, nine and a half in some cases, and I bought a size 10, and size 10 fits like a size nine. So just give you a little warning there, they feel like they might run, the shoe size might run just a, a, a tad small, but 
putting them on, wearing them, they, they, they feel super comfortable. They feel very good. Uh, I, I tried them on with no socks and uh, the inside, the insulation of the boot, they, they, it feels great. I know online they did say that, that they do have a very comfortable fitting the inst in the inside of the boot and they do. It's not like a hard plastic or it doesn't feel like just a hard plastic and they're kind of warm in the house. But you can see here, I'll set the camera back some. Excuse my mess and my desk. I have a lot of crap going on, but you can see right here. I mean, they they feel they fit great. They, I think I look, you know, you know, I got that dad bod thing going on. Nice and roomy. Yeah, maybe you don't want to see all that. That's not this kind of kind of show. But yeah, so I, I did. I ended up putting them on. I wanted to see what they're gonna feel like, so I can give you. Again, an honest review, uh, unboxing video, but yeah, I didn't have to adjust this. It feels like, you know, you put a jacket on, it has a little bit of room to stretch, so jacket or hoodie, it's gonna be good to go. So thanks again, Runko. Thanks for sending them out to me, and I appreciate you guys. Again, I hope you have a great, enjoy the rest of your day, have a great holiday, have a great weekend, have a great whatever the heck is going on. But uh, thanks.